Hello guys, I am back for another review on the day we talking about Zeku. Took Bakugo's advice. So I'm not gonna tell you what happened last time because... God dang it, the recording was like glitchy again. But not in the like the... well... Just stops and then goes back again. Like, uh, continues again. Like, it skips up like um, a piece of dialogue. No, the one that sounds like I'm literally like um getting... Uh, well, Getting my, um, um, headphones getting drowned, like, like, getting my face drowned, and recording underwater. It sounded like that. So, I'm going to retry it, but this time, well, you know what it's going to do, okay? Good. So, let's begin. So, after, well, after finally seeing all of these well well images specifically about well how corrupt the hero system really is they decide to stop well supporting it including all might which he doesn't um well doesn't want to become a hero but he's still going to pretend to be one so he can well leak information for izuku so i'm hoping this recording will won't sound like that not like that trash like that trashy bullshit anyway so anyway after izuku does that izuku decides to well show like show all of them well izuku's well headquarters for now which is basically the main ship which izuku calls the well odyssey get take a guess why Anyway, so, after showing them, well, the ship, well, Izuku says this to all of them. Alright, I'm going to be talking to, well, Loki. Ugh, I need to change of clothes, anyway. So, to the loo. So, everybody, like, for example, well, um, Melissa and, well, Inko, we're confused and what the heck is well izuku saying like loki like, like like the norse god wait for a second so melissa was completely confused including including like the rest of the group so decided to go into like a random place and that random place was the dining hall which several like foods and several delights were basically sprawl around well the dining well table as well Toshinori was pretty hungry so he decides to eat there several of these well maids butlers put more food as when one of them sees Toshinori they say this sorry but you can't eat that it's for the crew as Toshinori says this what but I'm hungry as he says this, don't worry, our most fine chef will make some food for you later. As Toshinori says this, mm, fine. So, after, well, a while of waiting, they hear the sound of horns. Like, war horns specifically, just imagine that. Like, the horns that you would hear in, like, Skyrim or something. So... After they hear the horns, they see, well, Loki's children, Hela, Fenrir, and Jormungandr, as one person announces them as such. So, after he explains who they really are, well, all three of them, well, like four, because, well, I kind of forgot about, like, um, S.H.I.E.L.D., specifically, like, um... Well, David, because I seriously don't care about David. He's just the most pointless character in my opinion. I mean, he's most forgettable. So, after they were seated at the table, including some questionable people, like questionable like people, including one of them that looks like well, actually he's just a frost giant. Like seriously, he's just a frost giant. So. After one of them, specifically Hela, says a speech,
and after onto the glass like like ding like that everybody started feasting Toshinori was pretty hungry as he starts while well, chowing down for Inko she was pretty much weirded out for Melissa she was well kind of hungry but not really hungry to the point that she starts well eating wildly like Toshinori over there and for David he starts chowing down so after the meal everybody starts well going back to their well daily routine of well while maintaining the ship as three were left specifically the children of Loki as Hela says this to Inko so I'm guessing that you're the child not child I meant the mother of Izuku right it's nice to meet you my future mother-in-law as she says this wait what as she says this yeah me and your son we're actually having a special type of relationship. A physical one, to be more sp I meant... A pis <sighs> I meant a more physical one, to be more specific. So, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> As Inko says this, um... It's nice to meet you, I guess. Um, Miss Hella, I believe? As she says this, yes. Goddess of the Norse Underworld, Niflheim. I, you must be pretty awkward, like having your stepdaughter being, well, me. As for well, well, Melissa, she was pissed off, like seriously pissed off. Like she starts like physically like getting ready to kill her, because after she said that, well, her and Izuku are basically dating. Well, she was pretty mad. So, Toshinori says this. Well, Izuku finally got a girl? <laughs> Lucky for him. As, well, Yormungandr comes in. Wait for a second. As Yormungandr comes in, as she says this. Um, nice to meet you. I'm also, well, in relationship with your son, Inko Midoriya. As she says this. Wait, what? Uh, both of you are in relationship? With my son? Um, uh, as for Fenrir, she says this. Yeah, me and Izuku are also in a relationship. Yeah, it's pretty much that type of relationship or whatever. I mean, I don't mind it, but it's pretty weird in your culture, I guess. As she says this. Yeah, it's weird. As Inko says this. Wait, did you, um, the, uh, um, did you ever as all three of them say this do or what as she says this did you be um um in bed as they say this yeah all together we had like a um let's just say something that starts with O, and leave it at that as inko faints as well wait for a second as David says this, hey, um, is there some sort of room that I can, as all three of them say this, yeah, over there, right next to, like, the, well, statue of our father, as this, uh, well, David starts bringing Inko to the bedrooms, or the spare bedrooms, so, yeah, so, after that, it's, well, wait for a second, Toshinori's turn. As Toshinori says this, alright, uh, guess I'll be going back to, well, going back to Japan. Uh, that felt nice. Anyway, I'm gonna be pretending to be a hero so I can, well, mm, um, put some information for you guys. Okay? Good. And also, lucky for Yuzuku. Really happy for him. And also, mind telling me. Um, what you did last time, because, um, I'm just wondering. As, well, Yormaganda says this. Um, please don't ask that. And second of all, thank you for, uh, contributing for the army. And also, if you're selling information for, well, well, for UA, for us, 
Well, I want you to be more careful because I don't want, well, anybody being, well, killed. Specifically, our soldiers. And you're our soldier or spy, I guess. I could call you. I could call you. Anyway, bye. The exit is over there, right next to, like, the, well, boiler room. As he says this. Oh, uh, thank you. So, after he leaves, the only one that's left is, well, Melissa. And Melissa is completely pissed off because, well, she's, after all, Izuku's childhood friend. As he says this. All right. You say that you're... Izuku's fiancés as well wait for a second as Fenrir says this yeah not really fiancés more like girlfriends as well Melissa says this oh really as she starts making a sword made out of nano um nanobots as she says this Izuku is mine, and nobody else. He is mine, and not yours to take. As she starts charging towards them, as Hela creates a shield, while um the two others, specifically Jormungandr and Fenrir, start attacking her. As both of them say, why are you trying to attack us? Are you some sort of spy or something? As for, well, um, Fenrir, she says this. Yeah, how the hell are you trying to attack us? Besides, you're weaker because you're using an artificial quirk or whatever. As she says this. Wait, how do you know that I'm using an artificial quirk? As she gets kicked in the face by Hela. As Hela says this. Well, I can obviously tell that you're not using a normal quirk. As, well, wait for a second. As, Fen, not Fenrir, I meant Melissa says this. <laughs> Touche, I guess. After all, you're some sort of, like, Nordic gods or whatever. Anyway, Izuku's mine. He's my childhood friend, and nobody else's. You don't deserve him. After all, I was quirkless, and he's quirkless. We're perfect for each other. As they say this, and not really. After all, he did proclaim his love for us. So, this will be flashback time. Okay, ready? Get set, go. And I'm hoping this recording doesn't sound like garbage. So, last night, after, well, they were getting ready for, well, their first um, attack at Japan. Izuku had some fun with them as they were laying on the bed together as all three of them say this so Izuku do you love us? as Fenrir says this yeah <laughs> that was fun so do you love us? as your yes yeah do you love me? and also my sisters I hope it says this. <laughs> yeah, I always loved you. Ever since I ever met you, you actually felt like... Like, you actually feel me. Like, yeah. You feel... You feel just like me. You... Well, we have the same experiences. Like, for example, this oppressive... This oppressive world. This world filled with this corruption. I hated that. But you, all of you, you're the light. You're light to me. Your light helps me, guided me. And when I died, I thought I could die in like, well, a peaceful matter. But, I realized my true purpose in this world is to destroy these bastard quirk users. 
How about that? As they say this. Oh, Izuku. As Gomaganda says this. Hey, want a round two? As Izuku says this. <laughs> sure. So, yeah, flashback over. Let's go back. So, when Melissa was told that, she says this. No, Izuku would never say that. Uh, he promised. He promised me many years ago, back when we were children. No, he never meant that. No, no. So, before we, well, not do this flashback, well, I want to do something right here. So, in my, well, well, community tab, I told all of you guys that, well, I could you that, well, I could either use my, well, my old traditional art or use, well, digital, I meant digital art by using an app called, what's it called? I downloaded it, actually. Ibis Paint, yeah. Ibis Paint X or something like that. Anyway, when I first got that app, I seen, well, so many photos. Even before that, I saw, like, um, well, so, like, artists using that. Specifically, well, I was in the, well, this is actually a convention, like a convention, I meant, well, I actually used to be in the fandom, specifically the, <sighs> I can't believe I'm literally saying this, I used to be in the gotcha fandom, yeah, I would see, like, people using IBS X paint, uh, IB, IBS paint, um, paint X or something to basically draw their like gotcha life characters or something I thought it was really cool but I never wanted to use well well digital art because well my freaking fingers are literally the size of like well a freaking bullpen so yeah that's why I never used well that and mostly because I prefer to use a stylus, or at least like something vaguely looking like, well, a pencil or something. So, I want all of you guys to go to that, well, post. Comment down below to either, well, go back to my traditional art or to the brand new, like, well, digital art. Either traditional or digital. Yes for, well, digital and no for traditional okay good so this is going to be the flashback a flashback where she well well this is back when izuku was pretty much well started getting bullied because well after all when was i think it was like Five or something I can't remember when Izuku was told that he was quirkless well he was pretty sad so yeah so let's go to that so after well Izuku was told that he was well quirkless and after getting bullied at school for that well Izuku started becoming alone Izuku decided to hide in the playgrounds like what do you call it? Like, those, like, dome things or whatever. As Izuku was pretty much, well, depressed. As Melissa comes up. Melissa says this. Hey, Izuku. As Izuku says this. What is it, Melissa? As she says this. Well, I was tested. As she says this. I meant he says. So, are you quirkless? Or do you have a quirk? As she says this, well, I have a quirk, actually. As Izuku says this, wait, what? You're quirkless? Like me? As she says this, yeah, but I wasn't bullied. Uh, how about you? Um, I've been bullied. Bullied because I never gotten a quirk. <laughs> As she says, oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> so, she says this. Oh, I didn't know that. 
As Izuku says this, yeah, I'd. mostly because I'd never gotten a quirk, and I was told that it was good. As she says this, oh, um, how about this Izuku? She holds up her pinky. As she says this, maybe in the future, we could become married. I mean, I'm not bullied, so if we're together, you never get bullied anymore. Like that? <laughs> she smiles as Izuku says this. I guess you're right. So, Izuku holds up his pinky as they wrap it around, as they say this. Soon, when we become older, we'll marry, and we will become, well, together, forever. Right, Izuku? Right. So, let's go back to the present day. So, Melissa, after remembering that, she says this. This is why I hate horrible people like you. You corrupt Izuku. I hate you. I'm going you no matter what. As she starts turning her, well, um, wait for a second. Her nanobot like, um, sword into a scythe. As she says this. Now, I will get Izuku no matter the freaking cost. And I will kill you. As when they're about to collide, Izuku creates a blast of like, well, um, cold air, creating two ice walls. As Izuku says this, right, both of you, if you want to, well, uh, basically destroy each other, maybe do it somewhere else, like in the training field. I'm at the training, um, um, training room. As, well, both Hella. Um, Hella and her sisters, and, well, wait for a second, and Melissa start getting angry, as Izuku says this, alright, mind telling me why both of you are going to kill each other, as they basically explain that it's their fault, as for Melissa, I meant Melissa, I meant, um, Hella uh, and Yormungandr, they say it's Melissa's fault. As Ziku says this, Alright, if you don't behave, I will do something horrible to all, all four of you, okay? As Hella has an idea, as Hella says this, Hey, Miss, um, what's your name? Um, Melissa, right? As Melissa says this, what is that, you damn bimbo? As she says this, how this? We share Izuku. As Melissa says this, share. As she says this, yeah, we should share Izuku. After all, it's well, a servo lining to this. You will gain infinite power and become a goddess, and you get Izuku. While we're sh while we are going to be sharing Izuku with you, do we have a deal? As she says this, sure. As Izuku says this, what do you mean by share? As their faces, well, well, let's just say something happens, like their eyes turn well into heart eyes, like those heart pupils. And they started sweating a little bit. As Izuku was dragged out, like, dragged by the feet. And, was, well, being brought to the bedroom. Loki sees this. As Loki says this. Well, good luck. Make sure not to do anything, well, totally graphic. Or try not to make mistakes. And also, Izuku, don't you dare hurt my daughters, okay? As Ziku was being dragged into the bedroom, well, Melissa's father also sees this. As David says this, um, what's going on? 
As Wendy reached the bedroom, well, let's just say things happen. Let's just say that. So, yeah, this will be the end of the episode, and, well, this will be an interesting one, and I hope this time it won't corrupt the, the, um, voice, the, um, video, please. So, yeah, so, I hope you liked the video, comment and subscribe so you can see videos like these, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!